Hello, I'm David Pippin with Agriculture in the Classroom, and today we're going to look at parts of the flower using real flowers instead of just using an image from a textbook. And this is a, a great lesson that you can do with your students. Uh, to get the lesson plan, just check on our website. Uh, lilies, you can pick those up at your local florist or grocery store that sells flowers, garden center, or if you're growing flowers in your school garden, that would be great to go outside with your students, cut your own flowers, and then bring them inside to investigate the flower parts. Uh, remove the lily from the main stem. I recommend putting them on a paper plate or some type of surface to actually cut. I'm going to use a sharp knife for our demonstration purposes, but with your students, I recommend using a plastic knife uh, so they don't cut their fingers, uh, but it will still cut through the plant material because it's very soft. You should cut through the lily petal very gently, and then just sort of peel that back and you can break it off and you can see where we've cut there just to get that open because what we want to do is get to the inside of the flower so we can see those parts down inside. So we've moved, removed the petal and we're going to spread these other petals apart a little bit so you can see down in there. And after you've removed the petal we want to go in and we want to take one of the stamens out and the stamens are these little things here in the center that are holding the pollen. So I'm going to take my knife and go in there and lift that center one out and then we're going to pull that right out like so. So the stamen actually has the anther and the filament attached to it, and that's how they're attached down at the bottom. Now that that is removed, I can see down in there, and I can see the entire pistil, which includes the stigma, the style, and the ovary down at the bottom. So I'm going to spread my petals apart and take my knife in here and gently cut into the pistil, splitting the ovary down at the bottom, and Hold the pistol down. You may uh, work well if you're working with a partner to have them help hold the parts down. And just take your knife and run it right down that pistol. So you're cutting into the stigma and the style and then into the ovary. Because what we want to do is get inside there so we can see those ovules inside the ovary. So often in textbook, uh, images, that's what we see is the flower that's split open like that and all the parts are labeled. But by having that actual flower there, we're going to be able to see all that. And I recommend using uh, some type of hand lens, uh, magnifying glass, so you can look up very closely. With our flower cut open, now you can see all of the flower parts. And let's just review those. We have the petals, which are the orange part on the outside. We have the stamen, which are all of these are individual stamens and this is the anther and the filament that makes up the stamen. Then we have the pistil that runs down the center of the flower that includes the stigma here at the top, the style, and then the ovary at the bottom which includes the ovules. And these all together make up the parts of the flower. After you have your flower uh, cut open, you've investigated with your magnifying glass, I recommend that students make some sketches of what they see. Um, using the magnifying glass and then using some crowns or colored pencils or markers uh, to make their diagram um, of their individual observations. And then once your students have drawn their actual picture of the flower as they've seen it uh, from their dissection, then have them break the flower apart and compare the flower parts with their drawing. Breaking the, part, the flower parts off and then actually laying them on their drawing like so putting the petal with the petal, just sort of um, matching things up. <clears throat> putting the stamens with the stamens like so, and then coming back with the pistol and laying that in there as well, uh, showing all of those parts from the flower with their drawing like so. And you could take the entire flower apart and lay all of those individual parts in there. Uh, but we've just laid the simple one petal, one um, stamen and so forth. For more information about this lesson and other garden lessons, please check our website.